It's now time to welcome a very, very special guest, a man who has been at the forefront of the giant strides that India has been making in space research and exploration. In his 33-year-long career at the Indian Space Research Organization, he has successfully managed several satellite missions and has won many awards and honors for his pioneering work. But his most crucial and significant contribution comes in India's much celebrated Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan missions. Please welcome Director of ISRO Satellite Center, Dr. Mailaswamy Anadurai. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy to be part of uh, this particular evening. And uh, I would like to thank the organizers to give me the opportunity to share some of the points. Possibly more than mine, I think I am thinking about uh, talking about the innovators. Because uh, today, definitely, India needs not big ideas. Big ideas also required, even small ideas also grown up, but we'd make big changes. I think I want to make a small deviation from what we told. It need not be big ideas, it need not be big. It can be small to start with, but what impact it makes, I think probably we'll be able to identify that also. That makes a CSA change. But living about that, at this point of time, it came to my mind, because nominally I think about cause and effect. That's what scientific we talk about. The effect, I am standing here. What is the cause? Telling other way, what made the organizers to bring me here to share in this particular podium to give the so-called keynote address for this network in India? Possibly, possibly, as uh, Anchor had told, Mangalyan and my association with Mangalyan probably made her, made them to bring me here. Again, what is Mangalyan and what is innovation about? Nearly 59 missions have gone to the moon, Mars, and uh, Ma Mangalyan is only 59th mission. That means, in other words, 59th attempt to India, 59th time you are going, nominally it can be termed as a also end case. But Walt made also end case to a small innovation. He really looked at the history of how 49 missions have gone. Not many have succeeded. At not even a single country succeeded in its first attempt. Made an attempt, they were not done. US made it in a fifth attempt, succeeded to go around the Mars. Russia, it was a ninth attempt. China had to succeed. Japan had to succeed. In this background, Mangalyan taking one fourth of the normal schedule, one tenth of the budget of the similar missions, in its made an attempt made successfully Mars, going around the Mars, it's happened there. Having done that, <laughs> having done that, it got, it has been awarded a Space Pioneers Award for its innovation. What is that innovation? You look back, and that, and this today's event of Network India, possibly there is a connection. What does that mean? As I told, very many failures were there. There is a saying, failure is a stepping stone for success. A small correction Mangalian has made it doesn't mean you have to fail yourself to make a success. Possibly getting the understanding what is the failures elsewhere, also possibly you can convert into a success. I think that's what happened Mangalian is concerned. And the global network enabled us to understand what is the reason behind the failures of 16 failures happened originally. And each one of the failures have been gone through. The reasons have been understood. Causes have been plugged. And in our mission, all these 16 causes have been plugged, making the mission success in the first attempt. So coming back to this today's event, it basically trying to tell thanks to the global network, which enabled us to understand 
what happened for the ages and such that we need not repeat the same issues so that probably today's my talk is to give the thanks to the community which enabled us to connect to the failures of elsewhere to understand ourselves how we can correct it that's what we can do again keynote address cannot be thanksgiving address something different should be there what is key behind that you look the key behind uh, that point of view when you looking at here and as i told as i told here each one of the six uh, uh, 16 issues of why the failures happen is one idea of taking from the failures you try to connect it here possibly we can went to so the idea is very very simple idea is simple but how we converting into a emission it made a big success this is what i told the simpler idea of looking for the issues of elsewhere trying to plug yourself on your way possibly you can make a big impact i think that's what mangalyan has made and taking that issue it doesn't mean whether you going to the similarly look at chandrayaan very many missions have gone to the moon nearly 67 missions gone to the moon but not even a single mission unambiguously answered water on the moon chandrayaan even though it was a made an attempt to remedia unambiguously told to the world discovery of water and molecules on the surface of the moon it has been told because a slightly different innovative way india looked the moon because not many people are aware india is the pioneer in the remote sensing aspect of our space is concerned and what all we have done is just take the idea of remote sensing what you do here and we are trying to understand what are the natural resources of earth contains because you know india is the country having the fairly good number of natural resources yes india also the country where the billions of people around that means equitable share of natural resources called for a natural resource so called natural resource management national natural resource management is the one which brought down how space can effectively used to effectively resources can be equitably shared among the masses that is the idea in which remote sensing indian remote sensing missions have gone through same phenomenon we have taken to the moon and trying to understand which are all the places water is there even in this year places water is there places water is not not there so what we have taken the remote sensing capability of what we are doing around the earth have been taken to the moon to see each and every part of the moon carrying 11 different science instruments trying to peep through each and every part of the surface of the moon and various nearly 10 months doing that way pole to pole the whole surface has been seen and chandrayaan has shown these are all the places water is there these are all the places water is not there yes armstrong where he landed and brought back the stone and man even today water is not there doesn't mean water was not there today is there that place even water is not there but there are fairly good number of places people have not landed we could see unambiguously presence of water after that missions have gone and even uh, uh, impact around the surface of the moon and the splash of water seen yes what chandrayaan has sound is correct one small difference of the way in which you are looking the moon also a simple way of converting into the way in which you are looking we are able to make a simpler mission chandrayaan also effectively look at here with respect to budget with respect to overall schedule similar to mangalyan we enabled unambiguously identifying water on the moon yes and seen that that means the innovative minds are there need not be for the going to the moon need not be going for the mars it's possibly can be done so called networking india also equally possible yes the communication satellites of india today which is governing for the space communication for the national needs connecting that into the way in which you are talking about today putting together it's very much feasible not very much far away very much feasible in the years to come so called digital india in the true form it's possible to have because the other ways of connectivity in the fiber optics and other ways of connectivities it may not be possible for indian context to connect each and every corner is concerned possibly looking for the terabits of uh, terabit uh, capacity satellites versus what we are talking about the today's uh, communications having in our handheld system marrying these together india will have a enough solution 
to provide with the innovators of today are sitting here and similar of them looking sitting it seeing this part of part particular event is concerned connecting all the people together the infrastructure policy makers investors operators and the so called next mass of innovators i think that's what we are talking about today when we are talking about here today's india is ready ready to take the innovators ready to nurture the innovators ready to provide enough opportunities connecting the innovators operators and investors together policy makers also ready to make the so called when we talk about digital india when we talk about networking india these two going together it's very many things is possible and and it is the need of the hour also it is not the luxury yes i look at here space missions all the networking missions all the digital india are not really luxury it is the need of our for india india is a country which the first two industrial revolution could not be part of it the fruits of it was not taken by india but india of the having a nation of uh, second largest in the population cannot for sit behind and look at the uh, what is happening in the technology cannot be more just an upper an rd cannot be a simple spectator it has to be part and parcel of it and it has to innovate its own way because you look at here the classrooms as i look at here i could see that yeah very very good samples of what is happening in bhutan is very much is a need of the india's our concern because you multiply the number of classrooms what is sitting here and if you want to connect this many people really want to make the 100% literacy in the normal form conventional schools i probably feel may not be possible and possibly this when what we are seeing the idea of connectivity of the mobile or m e learning or m education or i learning whatever the concept of things you are talking about here connecting to the people and taking the classroom to the handheld system probably will be the solution because classroom education in the years to come is it possible to is it possible is it affordable i am not clear is that the multitude genius is concerned but whereas uh, uh, this mode of thing connectivities and this mode of thing probably will be possibly will able to do that but it calls for the innovative efforts to coming together but while coming about the innovation also again you looking at this particular events just it goes to my mind my school days when the first uh, i think it would happen for many on many of the elders also when the second standard when i come the some innovative idea was came to my uh, in my village wherein using a clay i came out with a different type of gadgets normally will do a cart at those days i think i came out with a small gadget a slightly looking up possibly looking at because those days is armstrong landed on the moon i was trying to give a gadget which possibly looking like a, a system which lands on the moon i was trying to show in the clay and uh, seeing that our class teacher gave me a pencil that pencil of that day not worth more than 2 paise but that 2 paise pencil which recognized me what i have done in front of my uh, peers when i am being recognized and that is the one gradually 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 made and that is the one i feel made me to stand here nothing more than that so it is not the question of how much is the price of that pencil it is the question of the your ego of in front of the peers you are being recognized and that makes you gradually gradually step that step from third standard fourth standard gradually made me to all the way to a person who has never stepped beyond his village or beyond his district before joining isro made to stand on this podium talking to this is possibly that pencil of recognition of that teacher enabled me to be here similarly today the innovators being identified and these innovators are being shown i think the whole of india is going to see a week from now and that innovators being recognized i think that is the make will make not only those innovators some more people also i think when i am talking over the tea and the, we have seen uh, some some more innovative way of connecting the innovators to the possible investors and possibly trying to make them to really wet their hands in the slightly different way also the innovative approaches going on there so this mode of uh, the media coming forward and taking and bringing the innovators identifying what they have done and putting their things to the wear and uh, this sort of recognition probably enthusiasts much more people because as it need here we talk about already india has crossed as per statistics more than billion mobile subscribers and 2020 it has been told nearly 1.4 billion mobile subscribers india will have and if take that and even those mobile subscribers are uh, those that day 
not only for the voice, I think not connecting for voice is concerned, data use also is uh, going much and much better way. And today Indians are very fast graduating themselves to use the phones for their point of money transaction, even the, for their financial transactions. They are more and more increasingly using, indicating their reliance on the handheld systems already happening. Taking that into a mode, and if you go, that means if you look at here, I cannot, I cannot uh, think of a day without my specs I'm coming out. I cannot think of a day coming out without my dish outside. Those are the days. I think I uh, walked uh, from my village to the nearby high school five kilometers away. Morning five kilometers, evening five kilometers. I used to buy my bare food. But today, I cannot do. Because it has become indispensable part of my, for me, the shoe is concerned. Similarly, I feel the phone is becoming indispensable part of everyone. You can see some portions. All of a sudden, people will be looking at here. Because they will see some part of their system is missing in case they would have kept the phone elsewhere. And similarly, this is happening, the part and parcel of the, uh, one of the system, the handheld systems are happening there. And that connecting for the daily affairs of uh, money transactions, looking for over there, looking for the train uh, timing, looking for the aeroplanes, and over and above that, it is gives here lifelong learning also, as he told here, not only for the schooling, lifelong learning of the people also is going to happen. So when such a multitude of uh, opportunities are available, it wide open, it wide opens for the operators, it wide opens for the investors, it wide opening for the uh, subscribers, various options, and in between, yeah, another mass, that mass has to be critical mass has to be improved, the innovators. The innovators also, there's a very good opportunity for them to connect this. We one side the handheld system, another side growing subscribers, another side for the various needs in which they're trying to rely on the system, all putting together, the innovators have the fairly, fairly good opportunities to bring in such things here so that networked India is uh, very much feasible so that, as I told here, Indian space program is formed not for the fancy, not to go for the moon, not land on the moon, not looking for the Mars. It is how equitably natural resources can be shared by the uh, people, how space as a vantage point can help for Indian masses is Indian's ingenious way of uh, coming with the remote sensing and the communication mission and con connecting these two things, for example, disaster management. You look at here, when I was young, the very same place where from Kalam is born, near the place, the Tanis Kodi, I think, uh, yeah, similarly, yeah, a big cyclone came. And even today, people are not knowing how many people have lost their life. Even Kalam's house also was very much disturbed at that time. That's what he has written elsewhere. And today, you know that today's condition, even near Orissa or Gujarat, when the cyclone came, today's population density is much, much higher than what was the population density of when I was young. Just you think about how many people have really lost their life. Okay, it has happened because of the connectivity of space and the communication, all the things together, we are able to forewarn, we are able to find the synergies of cyclone where it's happening elsewhere, and how it is coming out, and very confidently able to tell, here this place is going to hit. And it enabled the policy makers and the mechanisms to get rid of the people such that casualty is not even the two digit. That happened thanks to the connectivity is what we have done, Thanks to the, the space communications there, thanks to the space remote sensing mission sitting there, all putting together this is happening. Now it's a time for us to graduate much further. Graduate much further such that our really, our research resources have been used properly such that India leapfrog really, really as he told, yes we started 2020, Dr. Kalam has told, I think that should happen. Whether Kalam, definitely from wherever he is there, we will be able to see. I know he was very much uh, confident his family people are living 100 years. He was also thinking he will live 100 years. He was all the more thinking he will see through the 2020. Unfortunately, today he is not there. I think it is all our duty to ensure through connectivity, through network in India, through the space, for each one of them, he is also part and parcel of it. It is our duty to make sure that by 2020, properly connected networked India, connectivity to air scan concern, and enabling India to march forward and seeing the real India, what Kalam looking for. Towards that, I believe this is the small seed of activity attacking here, and the innovators of 
good numbers have to come and investors have to enable them to happen and operators have to connect them to happen policy makers also to take note of that thing is concerned if everything happens 2020 with the great digital india of networked india with the space id governance very much visible thank you thank you very much